What's up guys, welcome to the vlog, becoming an ultra runner. Um, so the last video I put out was one of me doing my 45k uh, down on the southwest coastal path. I hope you all enjoy that and I did mention at the end of that video about what I was planning to do next so here I'm going to talk more about that and I'm going to show you what my standard week of training currently is and then I'll do another one again in a few weeks time as it all increases. The race that I have planned is the SW50, which is on the 22nd of June, I believe. That is a 50 mile or 80K, and that's from Brecon to Cardiff. Um, quite similar to a Brecon to Cardiff race that happens earlier in the year. The only difference is this one is all on trail and all over the mountains. So a tiny bit longer in distance and a lot more elevation, um, loads of trail, which is obviously perfect for me. Quick bit about the but the course I've already said it's 80 kilometers. According to the website, it is 3,000 meters of elevation. When looking at their kind of Strava route plan, um, it is only showing something like 2,300 meters of elevation. So quite a bit of difference there. Climbing, I think I'm doing about 1,500 meters a week at the moment, so obviously I'm gonna to need to up that, but I think that's gonna come with the added time on my feet and distance, so I'm not gonna stress too much about that. So the plan over the next 10 weeks is three major long runs. Now, I will be doing long runs between these, but the, the goal will be every three weeks, uh, starting with next week, um, to do a long run, close to marathon distance, probably just below, somewhere between 35 and 40K. Um, obviously, there'll be a lot of kind of walking and power hiking involved as well, because of, like I said, I want to get the time on my feet as well. And those three runs will be on the course. So I'm gonna do one from the start point in Brecon to about the halfway point. That'll be one of the, the biggest of the runs because of those major hills at the start. Um, I'm going to go from about a quarter of the way through to three quarters of the way through. Again, it's similar to marathon kind of distance. And then finally, I'm going to do from the halfway point to the finish line. So I've got a good amount of overlap there on the three long runs. Uh, and in particular, the one from the halfway point to the finish, I'm going to plan it so that I'm running that during the night. The race starts at 9am. I'm kind of thinking I want to do around 15 hours on this. 15 seems quite reasonable. The cutoff is 25 hours. So the plan will be to do the last kind of three hours in the dark. I think that'll kind of get me ready for the race. I know those trails really well, but it would come in handy, you know, on race day if I kind of knew that whole section in the dark. Right, so let me quickly talk about the plan. Um, so at the moment I'm doing four days a week running. That's a Tuesday, a Thursday, a Friday and a Sunday. Tuesday and Thursdays with the club. Uh, we tend to do somewhere around maybe seven kilometers on a Tuesday and Thursday. I'll be looking to do a bit more, anywhere between 10 and 16 Ks. On a Friday, I'm gonna be doing intervals and some speed work or possibly hills. So then on Sundays, it's just standard long run. So that's something like 30 K to 45 K. Um, that'll all depend on, on which week it is. And like I said earlier, there's gonna be three key long runs and I will spread those out evenly over the next 10 weeks. On top of the running then, I am going to the gym on a Wednesday morning and doing a big strength session. Then I'll do some additional body weight strength exercises kind of on a Friday or Saturday. Then between all that, I'll try and throw in a few hours on the bike as well. Right, okay, so as it's Monday, uh, there's no running or strength work today, which means either a rest day or some time on the bike. <music>
Yo, what's up guys? So, heading to the gym, it's Wednesday, and that means I'm doing strength work, so deadlifts and single leg squats, and uh, yeah, time to start getting strong again. It went better than I thought. Uh, gym session done. Um, I did a little bit more than I was expecting to this week. I was planning on doing the deadlifts and the single leg squats and possibly the, um, the planks into mountain climbers. Um, but I did a bit more, I was feeling really good. And because it's the first week, I'm feeling really keen as well. It's about an hour 20, so um, now I've got to head home, do some work, and uh, rest up, because tomorrow is another trail run. Yo, what's up guys? So, I'm up here in Brecon and I'm about to start my long run. So, um, feeling pretty good about it, although it's been quite a drive up here, best part of an hour, so it's going to be hell of a long run home. Um, I'm parked here at Talabont Reservoir, which is about maybe 20k in, 16 to 20k into the race, and the next part of the route will be straight up this hill. Up on the first climb now, and it's a little bit steeper than I expected. See us Taliban Reservoir behind me. So at this point I'll probably be 20k in, and we'll have already come down from up on the beacons. So yeah, let's uh, head up here, see what this has got in store for me, and then hopefully a nice relaxing jog home. That way. All right. 
quite a feeling it's going to be up there. That's me officially one kilometre in, and it only took me 15 minutes. So, um, not sure that kind of pace will work on the day, but hopefully I will know this route a lot better by then. Yo, what's up guys? So, I'm about 16 kilometers in, so that's another 19 or something to go. Um, I've done 800 meters elevation already, and most of that was in the first eight kilometers. It was very, very steep, and it was tough and it was slow. But I just came through a nice runnable section and then over these hills. Um, this is all still new to me. And I keep getting lost now and again. Um, the trail seems to disappear. But for the most part, I'm sticking to the, the correct course. And I reckon I'm about a kilometre away from a place where I normally run from all the time. So as soon as I get there, it's going to be a lot quicker and a lot easier. Because at this point already, I've taken so many wrong turns. Doubled back on myself loads, but... This is the reason why you wreck your course. Um, let's have a look. So like I said, 16K and two hours, 45 minutes. So you can really see how slow it has been. Um, I'm definitely thinking that from Brecon, until you get out on the flat at the top up there, that, that's probably a 25k section. There's no way that's happening in less than four hours. Maybe even five on the day. <sighs> Yo, what is up guys? So I am now 21k in, so half marathon in a very speedy three and a half hours. Um, I stopped off in a shop down there to get myself a bottle of water because I was running a bit low. Um, and even though it looks a bit grey, it's it's quite warm out. So I think I'm going to stop in a sec and take these uh, leggings off and just run in the shorts for a bit. Because right now I think it's just causing me to sweat. Um, from here I've probably got. 15k to go. I'm not quite sure really, but uh, I know that there is one massive climb and maybe two medium ones. I look forward to them, but I'm going to be smashing all elevation goals for this week 100%. Um, and as this one has been quite, whew, quite a tough one. I'll see how I feel tomorrow, and next week may end up being a recovery week. I'll just see how stiff my legs feel. Do not want to overdo it. straight down. Um, going back up the other side, which is the last big climb of the day. Last year when I did this, I can show you the video up there, um, ran through it. Um, it was the height of the summer and there was a bracken and it was like probably eight to ten foot tall and we waded our way through it. It was really tough. 
Um, hopefully I shouldn't have that problem because it's still early on in the year. Um, and then once I get back, once I get up the top of the mountain, I'm on the home stretch. Uh, head home for a, some food and a bath. Yo, yeah, what's up guys? So I thought I'd chat to you on this final climb of the day. Um, fairly certain I'll hit 1500 meters elevation and it'll be touch and go whether I hit 40k. Um, it might be one of those runs where I have to go up and down the street a couple of times. Whatever. Um, this run today has been awesome. I felt good all the way through. I feel good now. Much better than I did a few weeks ago, which is great. Um, aerobically, I feel good. Like energy-wise, I feel good. Muscular, um, yeah, I'm a bit sore. I've been on my feet for close to six hours, um, but I feel all right. You know, if it was race day, I've got no problem with doing another 20k. Easy at this point. Doubling this distance. Oh, yeah, it might be tough, but I'm sure I'll do it. Um, so quite a lot of the footage you've seen in this video uh, this week has been given to me by a friend of mine, Ginger Al. Um, he has a YouTube channel as well where he does a training vlog. Currently he is training for the London Marathon. In fact, he's probably finished it now because it is Sunday and today is the London Marathon day. So he's probably finished a couple of hours ago, enjoying a pint right now. But anyway, I appreciate the footage he's given me. And I'd like to encourage you guys to go over and check out his channel because he's in the same running club as me. He has similar goals in terms of ultras on trail. So I think you guys would enjoy watching some of his videos too. Anyway, thank you for checking out the video guys.